In this video, we will be showing how to plot XY data from multiple files using the thermal and reacting gas fire training problem. To begin, we'll click on post processor to bring up a tech plot post processing window. In this example, we'll be plotting XY data from multiple flux BC files. And so in order to do that, we need to load the data first by clicking on file, load Barracuda data, and then click on load data file. And then we need to click on the first file that we want to select, which is the FluxBC Cyclone 1 pressure. Then we're going to click and or press and hold the control button on your keyboard while we select the, the other files, which are Cyclone 2, Cyclone 3, and Cyclone 4. Then we can let go of the control key and click open. And then we can only see this one line, so we're going to go into the mapping style dialog. We're going to need to make this a bit larger in order to see um, everything that we want to see. So we're going to look here in our zone section. We can see that we're looking at cyclone one pressure file here, and we're looking at fluid mass flow rate. And so the y-axis variable that we're actually going to want to plot is, is um, time integrated particle mass. And so to access that, we will right click here and then we can find the Y axis variable. And then for our second zone, we're going to want to change that from cyclone one to cyclone two and then change our Y axis variable again. And then for the third one, we're going to change that by right clicking again and then going down to cyclone three changing the variable to time integrated particle mass. And then the last one, grabbing the cyclone four file and changing the y-axis variable down here to time integrated particle mass. And then we're gonna wanna show all of those. Then we can click close. And then we can see all four of the lines are here, but we would wanna do control F to auto scale that view. And then we know that we have these four lines, but we don't know which cyclone they go to. So we're going to want to put a um, line legend by going to plot line legend, then click on show line legend and close. And the line legend is not super helpful right now because it says they're all time in integrated particle mass of all species. And we don't still don't know which cyclone it corresponds to. So we'll go back to the mapping style dialog. And then here in our map name, we're going to change, double click there to change it, and we'll just name it um, Cyclone 1, 1, 2, 3, and 4. And then that will change the title that's here in the line legend. And then we can move that where we like. And then the last thing we can do is we can change this um, axis title if we like. It's pulling the variable name right now, but we can change it to just use text to time integrated particle mass in kilograms. And then that will change the title. And so then that is how you would um, plot XY data from multiple files.